Sacrifice. You get to pick your sacrifice. That's all. You don't get to not make one. You're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. This is the Peter Pan story, roughly speaking. Is Peter Pan is this magical boy. Pan is the god of everything, roughly speaking, right? And so it's not an accident that he has the name Pan. And he's the boy that won't grow up. And he's magical. That's because children are magical. They can be... They're nothing but potential. And Peter Pan doesn't want to give that up. Why? He's got some adults around him, but the main adult is Captain Hook. Who wants to grow up to be Captain Hook? First of all, you've got a hook. Second, you're a tyrant. And third, you're chased by the dragon of chaos with a clock in its stomach. Right? The crocodile. It's already got a piece of you. That's what happens when you get older. Time has already got a piece of you. And eventually, it's got a taste for you. And eventually, it's going to eat you. And so, Hook is so traumatized by that, that he can't help but be a tyrant. And then Peter Pan looks at traumatized Hook and says, No, I'm not sacrificing my childhood for that. So that's fine, except he ends up king of the Lost Boys. In Neverland, Neverland doesn't exist, and who the hell wants to be king of the Lost Boys? And he also sacrifices the possibility that he'll have a real relationship with a woman. Because that's when she's conservative, middle class, London dwelling girl. She wants to grow up and have kids and have a life. She accepts her mortality, she accepts her maturity. Peter Pan has to content himself with Tinkerbell. She doesn't even exist. She's like the fairy of porn. She doesn't exist. She's the substitute for the real thing.